Hey, how's everybody doing? Today I'm going to be talking about uh, keyboard shortcuts and uh, how important they are to uh, make your workflow and your life easier with modeling. So, uh, let's go. Um, Alright, so I thought uh, I might bring in some of uh, one of my models since, it's, since it would be boring to look at, the cu look at the cube all the time. So, here it is. Uh, let's switch to user and shaded alright so when you first start you can uh, you can see that the lighting is annoying for modeling because as I said before this part is lit and over here it's dark so you know I can't work if this part over here is dark and this part over here is lit it's, it needs to be you know all of it lit so we go to shaded and display options and then you can scroll down and you can go to enable headlight and specular on now this is optional but i like to leave it on <coughs> sorry about that anyways let's start with uh... The keyboard shortcuts and uh... Well, actually, before I'm gonna just uh, show you some uh, very simple manipulation tools and selections, and then we can get into uh, keyboard uh, shortcuts. So I'm just gonna select uh, this piece of uh, my model and press F to go to it. And now, if I want to move it, I press V, and it pops in this little gizmo over here, and I can control where it's placed so I can move it on the z-axis I can move it on the x-axis y-axis all of them together and if you notice if you put the mouse like over here for example you can move it on the z and x-axis over here it's on the x and y-axis now this is for moving objects you press the v key if you want to rotate an object you press the c key and you have this gizmo over here so now I can rotate on each axis and finally if I want to scale things up or down I press the X key and now I can scale them you know make things bigger or larger uh, bigger or smaller and you know you can even scale them on a certain axis alone I press Ctrl Z to undo and Ctrl Y to redo. Now, you know that uh, all polygon models or geometrical objects are made out of three things, which are points, faces, and edges. You can move scale and rotate each of these separately now let's say I want to uh, make some modifications to this top part of his head I just zoom into it and then I select it and I can move it XCV so now I'm gonna show you a few tricks you can do with uh, selecting uh, either points or faces or edges if I left click over here for example and I select this edge and if I alt and left click over here I select this whole uh, this whole path of edges and this works same for points or even faces so basically it's left clicking to make a selection then hold alt you can see it turn to blue which basically says that this is your first edge and then you tell it where you want to stop so let's say I select this edge over here 
it's gonna select this whole uh, path now let's say I want to select a loop an edge loop I just click over here and I just alt and middle click this time on the edge that's near it and there you have it I selected the whole loop you can even do this with polygons for example if I left click over here and middle click over here I have the whole loop selected and that works for points too and you can always rotate remove stuff around or even scale them you can even grow your selection or shrink your selection by pressing shift plus and this is very useful sometimes and you can even shrink it by pressing shift minus I'm gonna go back a few steps with control Z and show you how things work as you can see I just moved top piece of his head now that's for uh, basic controls basic manipulation tools I'm gonna go through some keyboard shortcuts right now and uh, show you how to work them out so basically <coughs> you just go to file keyboard mapping and it'll, it'll open up this uh, window over here you can just scroll down on this window to XSI and uh, you can see all the controls that XSI has to offer over here so if I wanna uh, mark something to a certain key I just search for it over here like let's say I wanna add the edge tool to a key I just click and drag it down to the key I want I'm gonna put this one on A <coughs> now let's say I wanna search for something that's not here and I'm, I'm not gonna scroll down all the way to it so I just like let's say I wanna go to split polygon tool I just press S and it'll snap B all the way to S now split polygon tool is SPLIT so if I press SPL it'll go to whatever I want so um, you can also uh, set keys if you want to have alt and control with them like let's say slice polygons I just hold alt and drag it to where I want and now it's on alt a be sure to make a new user yes be sure I'm sorry be sure to make a new user uh, keyboard map you know just save it so you don't have to set it up each time by pressing the new key over here and then just typing a name for it <coughs> now I'm gonna be uh, adding a uh, the list of my uh, controls uh, for my keyboard shortcuts inside the notepad and you can check it out after I'm done explaining and uh, by all means uh, you don't have to have the same keys as I do uh, just uh, do whatever uh, makes you feel better um, so anyways uh, I'm gonna show you some tools for that I use for manipulation I'm gonna move over to this piece now, one of the one of a very one of a one of uh, the very uh, important uh, things in these keyboard shortcuts are isolate selected, which is Control Alt Q, and it'll isolate your selection. So, as you can see, for example, here it's very useful since I have lots of uh, objects in my scene. If I want to work on this one separately, I just click it and press Control Alt Q, and it'll isolate it. Another important uh, tool you could use is uh, Split Polygon Tool, which is Alt A, and it'll open up this uh, little dialog box over here. So 
you could delete polygons below as you can see it splits it in half now the polygons aren't below they're on the right actually on the left but I know I don't know why it says below <laughs> but anyways uh, so the polygons below you cut it in half the polygons above you take the other half now basically what this does is uh, it splits the it splits your your selection in half so you know you can work symmetrically with objects now let's say I split it in half I close this dialog box and I made my changes to it now when I'm done I could just symmetrize it over to the other part which is symmetrize polygons too alt s and that brings every everything back together again now uh, there's another key I wanted to show you which is control D to duplicate so you just select you just make your selection press control D and it'll duplicate it and now I have another piece of uh, this uh, headpiece I have over here that's uh, control D and that's uh, I think that's default in software image next we have the uh, split edge tool which is so helpful uh, let me move on to the shoulder piece alright so remember I'm just making my selection and isolating my selection so I have one piece and one piece only that I could concentrate of that I could concentrate on so uh, the split polygons tool split polygons tool I have assigned it uh, to R and what this does is uh, if I middle click over here I got this really nice edge loop and this is very helpful in modeling so as you can see whatever I middle click I get an edge loop I can add the uh, edges like I want now let's say you want to add the certain edge loop <coughs> sorry like you want to draw it out you just go to uh, add edge tool I've assigned it to A and now I could draw whatever edges I want and when you're done you press right click to end your select to end your uh, configuration so right click and that's it I'm gonna undo with the control Z again alright so now there's another uh, there's another keyboard uh, shortcut I wanted to show you, which is uh, pretty neat. I'm gonna make a grid for this, so you can see it nicely. So model, primitive, grid, and I'm gonna isolate again. Now, uh, it's called adjacent. Uh, selections uh, you can find it in the keyboard uh, in the keyboard mapping uh, window now I'm, as I said I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go through every uh, I'm gonna go through every one of them but uh, I'm gonna add them in uh, the description so you can check them out don't worry if you don't if you don't uh, have it here I'm just gonna show you how they work and then you can later fix them yourself so I set this one to control alt u and as you see it does these selections and it works the same for points and the edges too and this is pretty neat if you want to do like uh, I don't know something like this alright so um, like I said this uh, to go to edge, edge mode press E this is default in soft image if you want to go to points mode, you press D, and it'll let you select the points. 
And if you want to go to faces, you press the U. And it lets you select the faces. Now, if I want to extrude, and this is also default soft image, you press con you press Control D, and it lets you extrude polygons out. Now don't worry if you don't understand how these works. Uh, how these work? Um, when I when I want to start with the the character modeling, I will go through every one of them, and you can see how they work uh, properly and how they can help us uh, uh, with our uh, workflow. Now. A very, uh, very important uh, thing to understand is why these keyboard shortcuts are very important. It's basically because if I want to do something, I don't want to go waste time and go to the modeling tab and then open up this window and then search for it. You know, I could do that, just like split edges with split control or subdivide polygons, shift D. And I don't want to go through this window every time I want to do something. I just want to use my keyboard to do whatever I want. So that's basically it. Um, there's also one last thing I wanted to show you, which is create polygons. And this lets you create polygons. you know like on the fly now the way this works is uh, you left click to draw the first point and left click again to draw the second point and then keep on clicking and I usually like to stop when I have four points because that's a quad and ha working with four sided polygons is very important since uh, they subdivide really nicely You could also add some more polygons to them, however you'd like. Another cool feature Softimage has to offer is the split, uh, the subdivide tool. Now, usually they're on the numpad. I'm going to show you in the keyboard mapping. They're on the numpad plus minus. If you have a, if you're using a laptop like I am, and you don't have a numpad, you could just assign them to the plus and minus that are over here behind the backspace which is change subdivision down and change subdivision up so what this does is uh, when I press the plus sign as you can see it'll smooth everything out I'm gonna undo and now I will redo and as you can see it's all smooth and uh, nice and clean Now, uh, I suggest you start uh, um, just to add the, uh, th the the keyboard shortcuts I told you about, and when we start modeling, uh, you'll understand more how uh, each and every uh, how each and everything works properly, and uh, you'll have a better understanding of edge flow and stuff like that. But I really advise you to uh, just uh, add the keyboard shortcuts because they're very important and they uh, make your workflow so much more efficient and you don't waste time you know just looking for buttons everywhere and I uh, really uh, suggest you just experiment with them a bit until we could start uh, modeling so you can really understand how they work and how they function and how they really help us so I thought you thought uh, this was useful and uh, please if you like this uh, I'd love to hear what you have to say if you could comment or anything and uh, please subscribe take care